Hi, my name is Wesley. I'm from King Salmon Mines, USA. And we're, today we're doing some bracelets. Uh, these are sterling silver bracelets I picked up from my importer. And they need cabs in them. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and put some cabs in, in this particular one. We're going to hold this one off till another video, but we're going to do this one today. And how you go about it is, first you have to get a template. This is a template size or calibrated size cab. And so I, what I have is a template here. It's for calibrated cabs and I have to just find a particular cab that this particular piece goes to. So uh, this one 34, I mean 24 by 14 is the one that actually fits this particular bracelet. So we just fit it over there and I'll show you like that. And that's how it goes. So what we're going to do is I have some slabs here. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and mark this slab with this particular calibrated template size oval here of uh, the calibrated uh, the cabochon and so we'll go ahead and mark it like that and this is an aluminum pencil I use so I have a mark here of the cab so next step is we're going to take it over to the trim saw. I'm going to go ahead and trim the outside and then um, we'll take it from there but I'll show you how to trim it. So, and I have these other ones I already did, I already marked up for we'll have enough to uh, go ahead and have some fun with this. So we'll see how it goes. Next step is the trim saw. See you there. Okay, we're over here at the trim saw and we're just going to trim around the outside of this oval pattern. We don't want to get too close to it because we're going to do the final trimming on the grinder. So, so here we go. You go ahead and turn on the trim saw. It's going to be a little bit of noise. Okay, I wanted to show you what it looked like after I put it on the trim saw. I remarked it again with the oval. And now I'm going to take it on the grinder and grind around the outside. Get fairly close to the line because I'm going to do uh, some final sanding to fit into the bracelet. So, here we go. Okay, now I almost have it ready to fit into the bracelet. It's pretty close, but it doesn't quite fit inside. You can kind of kind of see here it doesn't quite quite fit inside. So I'm going to go ahead and take it on. I got a 400 wood grit wheel here. And we're going to do the final sanding on the outside to fit it right in there. So here we go.
Okay, now that we have all three of them mounted, or at least fitted into the ovals of the bracelet, the next thing, next step we're going to do is I have to grind this down so I can do a dome on it. So I'm going to go ahead and grind it down with the um, cabs in there. It's easier for me to hold on to it and stuff. So, yeah, well, that's the next step. So, let's get going. out but yeah it looks pretty good so far there you go hey the next step coming up we're gonna dop them and go to the finishing well and finish sanding them okay here we are we're gonna be dopping these cabs here that we just got done uh, cutting down in the bracelet so Okay, now we'll go ahead and finish uh, the top off. We'll go ahead and sand them down with a 220 and 4 and 600 and polish them. Uh, get them down a little bit further. And if we have to get them down even further, we might just take it off on the bottom. So, and I have a, <clears throat> a chip on one of them here, that, the green one. There's a chip right there that... Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get that out or not, but we'll try. If I can't, I'll just switch it around and put another blue one in there, I guess, and finish it up that way. So, on to the wheels. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take the dome off on, uh, dome it down on top a little bit more. Make the dome down a little smaller. And we have a 220, 4, and 600 grit. That's what we're going to use, so we'll start with the 220. Here we go. So this is what the stones look like when they're all finished and in the bracelet. Um, the sad part is I can't use these three stones. I cut them too short or they're too uh, too thin. And uh, it has too much of a lip. I have to go over on the bezel to, to get the stones in, in place. So uh, I won't be able to use these stones so I'm going to dump them out. And I made these stones instead to, to fit in in the bracelet. Um, these are a little thicker. Let's see if I can get them in the bracelet. Uh, a little different color, but uh, they're a little thicker, so they look a lot better. Now you can spin them over. So that's the stones I'm going to put on this bracelet here. These three new stones I cut for it. Uh, they're a little thicker. And so I don't have to uh, put the bezel over so much on the cab itself. And so it'll look a lot prettier, look a lot neater, and uh, it'll just look a lot nicer. So that's the finished product there. I hope you like it. Um, if you have any comments, uh, if you like it, let me know, but I just want to show you what a finished bracelet looked like. Uh, like I said, I just have to um, push over the bezel on it and uh, set them in place, but I'm not going to glue them. Um, it doesn't need it, so yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. Let me see if I can get a closer view of it. Yeah, that's all in sterling silver, so it's going to be a nice bracelet. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.